centre square at half four, try to drive the Lions into attack. He plays on now, all he has to get around uh, McLeod who came at him, goes to the left foot, drives it down towards full forward, Hall in the middle of the pack, good mark in front though by Allen, and he will shoot for goal from 30 metres out directly in front. Well, he didn't really jump off the ground, did he? He just put his hands up. He read the ball so well. So Michael Allen, who we uh, said three weeks ago when we uh, were here for the Thompson game, unfortunately hurt his knee, but he's back in the side. And he comes in to put the first goal on the board. It holds up in the breeze a bit, but I think it's straight, and it's through for the first goal. He likes it. So Michael Allen's first, and the Belmont Lions first. They have one straight goal on the board, and it's taken just a minute in the first term. And it was probably, Laurie, the, uh, the centre break, uh, break <coughs> takeaway for uh, Belmont that got that goal. Yes, uh, the thing though, Eric, there was a big crowd at centre half forward there when they kicked it up. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, they're probably lucky to get a grab out of that because was, everyone was there. They're going to try and crowd Tom Hall as much as they can. Moses, but he's still on kicking with the Bruce. They got a loose man in defence. Yeah, I think they're uh, worried already. So I'm <laughs> Pike Keating this time. Ball in the middle, tap down. Uh, really not achieved by either Ruckman, and uh, now it's. Uh, very, very congested in the middle. All the umpires uh, put a whistle on play. The free kick has gone to miles of uh, East Geelong over the shoulder and uh, takes the kick towards half forward. Oh, well, the umpire almost took a mark there, but uh, handball comes out to uh, McLean. And from outside 50, it's a long ball going to land in the goal square, touched off hands, and uh, there's the first behind to East Geelong. They are now one behind. Belmont Lions, one goal, six. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard. Only two minutes gone. It doesn't take long for the good players get the hand on the footy, does it, uh, Luke McLean? A uh, couple of kit touches. Mills goes towards centre half back, got a number of players there, hands is one of them, hands it off quickly, running through the middle, Newell, left foot kick towards centre half forward, straight down the middle, McVilly. Dodges, gets around, handball to a standing start, Newell who kept going, centre half forward goes to a one out, Carr over the back, trying to tap it away, Vetter does so towards the back pocket, two on one, but the boundary line <coughs> will beat Spence there for the Belmont Lions, and it will be a boundary throw in. Right forward pocket lines into attack. About 30 metres around from their goal. Allen to do the ruck work against Lovell from the hind hill. Big thump away. Hold, said the umpire. Going to go to the Eagles. And it will be Lovell from the ruck contest to take the free kick inside defensive 50. Try and clear play for the Eagles. He's got the ball now. Allen stands the mark. People running everywhere. <laughs> Not many people running to where he wants, which is straight down the middle now. On towards centre wing. Mills goes up, gets a hand to it. Can't take the mark. Off hands. Handball came out from Hall. Goes towards... Uh, uh, that looked like it was Nelson over the top of it, who couldn't get it away. The Eagles work hard at half back. Steal. Handball towards the safety of the boundary line. Finds it. And it will be a boundary throw in. Half forward. Belmont Lions just into attack on the outer side. Boundary umpire throws the ball in. Allen in front. Lovell from behind. Got it down. McLean. Can he run onto it? Mills overruns the footy. It's on centre wing. Tapped it in front. Miles. Handballs it to himself. Gets away from a tackle from Beck. Now left foot kick short in towards uh, 50. Off the back of the pack. O'Leary turns around. Kick. Oh, Great well smother done. by Button. Who might have the job on him this afternoon. At centre half back. Leaves it though. Kick off the ground by Buckingham across centre half forward. Handball came okay from Dandy. Got it away back towards the, the 10 metre square. Pack develops. Beck's there. Tapped on and tapped through for another rush behind by Brett Dunlop. So the Eagles double their score, two behinds. The Belmont Lions, one straight goal, six. And that's on the Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard, four minutes played. There's a whistle on play, and uh, prior to the kick-in, the ball will come out to uh, the 50-metre arc. So there must have been an infringement there after the ball went through the goal. Scotty Mills has the footy. Sean O'Leary standing in the mark. So uh, play has resumed with the free kick. Mills goes to uh, wide centre wing. Good body work, Brett Dunlop. Illegal, said the umpire. <coughs> and uh, free kick going back to uh, it's, uh, Steel. Michael Steele for the Eastern Line. Handballs quickly to Scott McLeod. But in the way at centre half back is Peter McVilly for the Belmont Lions. Takes a low chest mark. Now it goes, well, terrible kick off the boot and uh, going to be intercepted by Buckingham in the middle. Handball wide at the McLeod. Little chip pass and uh, Peter's out there. Handball quickly to Luke McLean who's heading goal. Oh, and, oh great smother, Peter McVilly again. And uh, geez, there's some wonderful defensive skills in the first five minutes of the game so far as the ball is now, well, the umpire has uh, paid a free kick. And uh, Peter McVilly certainly questioning it. It is. He's set in the back. 
So uh, Luke McLean with uh, Peter McBilly standing in the market 45 metres from goal. And uh, McLean has gone back a uh, fair way. And with that breeze would be some sort of a chance to certainly get the distance. Accuracy is going to be the key. So McLean there, kicked from absolutely 50. Nice looking kick. It's gone with the breeze to the left, I think, of the uh, big timber. It is the third behind to East Geelong. They go to three behinds. They trail Belmont Lions one goal. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard. Six minutes gone. Kick in by Mills again. Goes to the outer side. And oh, through the middle steel. Took a great mark in the pack. And we'll drive it back in from 60 metres out. Goes long towards the goal square. Dandy from behind. Mills in front. Off hands. Running towards the square. Oh, McLeod, did he get one high? Yeah, yes, yep. said the umpire. Made sure the umpire saw it. Made sure. <laughs> and uh, Scott McLeod will shoot for goal from uh, the 10 metre square. And should be able to put the Eagles first on the board. So Scott McLeod, who's had a very he's, good season for the Eagles. He's a bit forward today, though, isn't he? He not, is. Normally not up that far, is he? Well, he's got no. the desired result. <coughs> I know he drifts up a fair bit, but uh, he's, he seems to maybe just starting on the forward line. East Geelong 1, 3-9. They take the lead, the Belmont Lions. One strike, goal six. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard. Six and a half minutes played. So if he's uh, adopting an on-ball role, Laurie, that's uh, a bonus for East Geelong because uh, he gets a fair bit of the footy, uh, Scott McLeod. Yeah, he certainly knows where to run in the right spots and... Uh, you know, it's not just luck, luck you bob up at the footy, it's a little bit of reading the game as well. So back in the middle with umpire Hunter about to put the ball uh, in the air once again. Harvey and that's uh, Lovell. Lovell gets a tap down, a little handball from Harrison to advantage for Belmont Lions. Uh, Michael O'Leary overruns the footy. Well, it's bouncing a little difficulty out there. Finally picked up by hands, chip forward. In the way is uh, Nathan Murray back into the side for East Geelong this week. Can't control the footy, however, and off his hands, it's over the boundary line. Just uh, a couple of metres outside the 50-metre arc, where the arc intersects with the boundary line. The boundary umpire about to put the ball into play. Seven and a half minutes gone. First quarter, half forward flank uh, with Michael Allen doing the ruck work up forward. Amball comes uh, forward. P uh, Peter McBilly trying to take it off uh, Hill, but uh, the umpire says no chance to get rid of the footy, and uh, he will put the ball in the air once again. So uh, the ball, 65 metres from goal, with Michael Allen doing the ruck work, gets it down, but uh, in the way there is O'Leary, Michael for East Geelong, kicks the ball oh. forward, oh, strong mark, Brett Dunlop at uh, <coughs> half-back for uh, Belmont Lions, and uh, thwarted another challenge. Boltech is uh, loose on centre wing, and the chip pass goes to him, and uh, has taken the mark between wing and half-back, kicks Tom the ball with the breeze, Tom Hall. Push from behind, play on to the umpire, and uh, ball under uh, a number of players once again. As uh, Mark Buckingham hands the footy to the umpire, and the other player, the last man up there, was uh, Daniel Beck. Ball now, centre wing, up high, Harvey, tap down, Luke McLean takes the footy, he's tackled immediately by a couple of players, and uh, can't get clear. So now, true centre wing. On the western side here of Winter Reserve. Nearly nine minutes gone, first quarter. Uh, level up high with the knee. Tommy Hall puts a tackle there on... Uh, that was Buckingham. And... Uh, Harvey, that's down on the ground. It's the Ruckman might have... Uh, Lovell got up pretty high with the knee, I think, in that last Ruck contest. And uh, might have uh, perhaps been winded by the look of things. So... Uh, Who'd want to be a Ruckman? <laughs> Is a, uh, haven't got too many ruckmen sitting on the fence, I don't think. Now Michael Allen does the ruck work, however. Big punch forward in the way there was Steele. Once again, four east towards uh, centre-half forward. Peters can't handle a footy, but uh, off his foot goes to Collins. He's well tackled. Hold the ball. And uh, terrific tackle there, rewarded by the umpire. And uh, is that uh, Scotty Mills? Chip forward to... Uh, that's uh, Nelson. He's... Uh, a little bit uh, slighter than his brother. Handball to Peter McBilly, wide to the flank. Pickett in good position out there, but the wind is too strong for uh, the ball. And uh, it's taken it over the boundary line between wing and half forward. On the <coughs> side here, almost 10 minutes gone. One goal, three east. Lead Belmont Lions, one goal. There's his throw in. Lovell gets it down, running onto it. O'Leary, Michael on centre wing, tries to get the uh, handball away. Kick off the ground by McVilly, goes towards half forward. Over the top of it now. Pack develops, Michael O'Leary in there again. Handball was chopped off, pretty tough in the clinches. Kick off the ground. Came from Buckingham, but he's uh, 
put into the car park just about, and it's out of bounds on the full. So Scotty Mills from centre wing to take the result and free kick. Once the ball comes back. It's just a little bit scrappy, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose the wind perhaps a bit to do with that, Oh, line, oh no, I think a lot to do with Eric, yeah. And it's with a lot of play that side of the ground already. Test the commentary too. <laughs> <laughs> so Mills from centre wing. Goes with the right foot kick towards centre half forward. Pack develops. Oh, in the middle. Hall, no mark taken. Play on the call. Goes towards the banjo line again. Jones, he sees it over the banjo line. And it will be a throw in. Half forward flank. Belmont lines into attack. And East Geelong, 1-3-9. The Belmont Lions, one straight goal, six. Boundary throw in. Goes from behind to the front of the pack towards their pocket. Hill runs back with it, tries to uh, pick it up, can't do so. And it will be another boundary throw in. About 35 metres around from the Belmont Lions goal. So, a lot of play, as Laurie said, on the other side of the ground so far. Pack develops from the ruck contest, goes towards Jones, standing on the side of the pack. Oh, she takes a few on, just gets his kick away under pressure. Goes back towards centre wing, Mills to run onto it as well. He runs towards the boundary line, might, might not be able to keep it in and can't do so. So it will be another boundary throw in. Still just into attack for the Belmont Lions on the outer side. We've been playing 11 and a half minutes and it's the East Geelong 1-3-9. They lead the Belmont Lions one straight goal six. So from the throw in, it came to Beck for Belmont Lions off the left foot towards half forward flank. Jones for East Geelong threw the ball back on that occasion. Missed by the umpire and uh, off hands it's over the boundary line. So it's now half forward flank, perhaps near a forward pocket for Belmont Lions. Kicking to the northern end in this first quarter as the ball comes back into play Hall from behind but Allen in front taps it forward for the Lions East Geelong in numbers back there it was uh, Jones a handball over the top but uh, good tackling by the Lions little handball comes clear to uh, was that uh, Hands? Hands yeah. at, uh, ball in the goal square good work Hand comes back again to Hands nice little handball to Peter McBilly he's in good position but under pressure has put the ball over the boundary line and out so uh, a lot of pressure there from the uh, East Geelong defence on the Belmont Lions forwards and uh, the ensuing free kick has gone to East Geelong. The chip comes forward, Michael O'Leary spoil from behind by hands, does well, but he's uh, thrown over the boundary line before he can uh, get the handball away. So, Tommy Jim Murray Stevenson put uh, Mick O'Leary under a bit of pressure. <laughs> he did with that kick, certainly, as the ball comes back in once again. Ball comes down from the uh, throw in hands again. Almost trip play on, said the umpire, as uh, now it stacks on the mill and uh, the ball will be put in the air between wing and half forward for Belmont Lions. Kicking in this uh, first quarter to the northern end, that's 13 minutes gone. So umpire Hunter, ball in the air, it's a favours level, doesn't get a clear tap away. Ball comes down to hands for Belmont Lions, he runs inside 50 oh. and uh, well he's pinged for uh, holding <coughs> the ball. And the free kick has gone to Andrew Hill of East Geelong. In the defensive 50 metre arc, not a good kick however, and a drop short, mark taken by Chase Rossiello. So he's between wing and half forward at the 13 and a half minute mark of the first quarter. And Belmont Lions kicking against the breeze to the northern end. Rossiello now looking for some options. Now decides to kick long. It's long and low into the breeze, mark not taken. Good work in defence by Stevenson. That kick's long. It's gone towards centre wing. Players, uh, well, they waited for the footy, and Nelson on that occasion didn't attack it. Voltesh does, but unfortunately it's uh, off hands and over the boundary line. So we've been playing 14 minutes now, the first quarter. Belmont Lions, one goal. Trail East Geelong, one goal, three. So a boundary throw in. Host to do the ruck work for the Eagles up against Allen, who's moved in the ruck since uh, Harvey's been off the ground. Host tried to take it out of the ruck. Harrison, fresh air shot with a kick. Miles through the middle, breaks a tackle, gets around another. Goes towards half forward, left foot kick towards the lead of McLeod, who he says in the forward line has kicked their goal. Wheels around at 50. Mills is against him, goes towards the pocket. Standing his ground, O'Leary put a hand up, button has got the job on him this afternoon to this date. And it's off his hands and out of bounds for a throw in. Left forward pocket, the Eagles into attack, southern end of the ground. That's a big uh, job for Button out there. They must uh, have a lot of respect for him. So a boundary throw in over the head of Dunlop and also Host goes to Peters off a step. Right foot kick around the corner as he wheeled it back in. I don't think he has far enough. It's through for one behind. So they get a 1-4-10 East Geelong and they lead the Belmont Lions. One straight goal, six victory trophies. First quarter scoreboard, 15 minutes played. Laurie, the, the breeze probably favouring the forward pocket at that end worth a couple of goals. 
Oh, I would have thought it would be Eric, yeah. If you get it in the right spots and use the breeze to your advantage, it, uh, I think it might be difficult to kick goals all over the ground today, but uh, I would say they're definitely kicking with a two-goal breeze. Well, from the kick in, it landed outside 50, but there was a whistle on play as uh, the free kick has gone to level of uh, East Geelong. So, 70 metres from goal. In fact, he's in the centre circle, level now. Left foot goes long. That's 50. And... Uh, I don't know for why. I didn't think Over the, man the mark. Did the man in the mark move at all? Well, I didn't. I assume that's what he's given it to for. So uh, the ball now uh, is relayed to uh, the man on the mark. Is only 15 metres from goal. So uh, Sh uh, Shane Lovell will have the opportunity to uh, have a shot on goal. So Lovell now with the man on the mark, 15 metres from goal, has uh, the 50 metre penalty. Moves in on the left foot. Well, it's uh, not a bad-looking kick. The goal umpire's gone a he fair way it. across, but I think he's going to put up the two hands. He does. So that's uh, Shane Lovell's first goal. It is East Geelong second. They go to 2 4 16. East Geelong leading Belmont Lions one goal. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard. 16 and a half minutes gone. So they probably need a few more, Laurie, to uh, consolidate that breeze. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, we'll just have to see what happens when the Belmont Lions have the use of it. But uh, th there is some good matchups out there at the moment. Uh, Julian, he's been covered pretty well up there. Uh, uh, vetter has got the job at him. As, as we just said, Button's got the job on O'Leary. Some good matchups. So back from the middle. Kick from the middle from Newell for the Belmont Lions. Inside 50. Stevenson keeps his eye on it. Vetter punched it away from Carr, just outside 50 now, umpire found a free kick going to East Geelong and it will be Miles with the free kick for the Eagles tries to switch play towards halfback and Hill have to run onto it, sits for him okay, runns away from Harrison, drives it back towards centre half forward, O'Leary on a long lead up against the couple, hand in there was okay but Buckingham runs through the middle, handball towards Peters in the goal square, he sits for him beautifully, he Shorty kicks that. the goal, his first and a third for the Eagles and they go to 3-4-22 and they lead the Belmont Lions one straight goal, six, and that's on the victory trophy's first quarter scoreboard. 17 and a half minutes played in the first term. Who was that that ran in with it? Was it Buckingham? Yep, yes, yeah, it was. He attacked the ball pretty hard, and uh, that's what you've got to do when uh, sort of made something out of nothing just then. Yeah, well, uh, certainly David Peters uh, made something out of the goal in the goal square. He doesn't miss those. And uh, 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 Hilly's doing okay on Hawley too at the moment. He's uh, had a couple of kicks himself, and uh, I've only got Hawley down for one handball at the moment. Well, he's got a raving commission in the forward half by the look of things, but certainly the breeze not helping. But we're back with some Pike Keating. In the middle of the ground, the ball goes up again. Allen now doing the ruck work for Belmont, gets the tap forward, but at the drop of the footy and doing well so far as Miles. Just uh, chips it out, finds Hill on his own. He runs clear, long kick to half forward. Good position there. Well, Mark, almost taken uh, by Dandy, Dandy but uh, handball comes out to Luke McLean running into an oh. open goal. And he doesn't miss too many of those either. So uh, starting off very, very well, the East Geelong side as Luke McLean's kicked his first, and it is the fourth for East Geelong. 4-4, four, four, 28 East Geelong. They lead Belmont Lions one goal. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard, 18 and a half minutes gone. Yeah, it was certainly good that uh, forward play there. A lovely handball by uh, Sean O'Leary, uh, Eric. He, uh, Probably could have uh, spun around, had a big quick kick. He, uh, he, he's improved his football a real lot in that area. He doesn't uh, blaze away. He uh, shares the footy around a lot on the forward line. Tom he, Hall into the uh, centre square. Uh, that's a good move, Eric. He was leading uh, Hawley to the ball, uh, uh, Hilly to the ball, I think. So back to the middle. Allen in the ruck up against Lovell. Hall has switched with uh, Peter McVilly on the ball, so he'll be in there for this bounce and gets it down to Hall through the middle. Wrapped up, Wrapped not up. going anywhere. Duncan Miles and Luke McLean make sure of that. Secondary bounce in the middle. Umpire Keating to throw it up once again. Does so for Allen and Lovell. Neither can get an effective tap. Falls to the back of the pack. Boltish tried to kick it off the ground. Over the top of it, McLean breaks a couple of tackles. Handball over the top to Lovell. Quick kick from uh, the middle of the ground towards centre half forward. Host tried to tap it on through the middle. A quick kick away again by Newell towards the wide open space on centre wing. Rosiello leads Murray in the race of the footy. Sits for him OK. Handballs it back towards Newell. Can he get around McLean? He handballs it. And will it stay in for Harrison? It does. And he can turn around. Handball to McVilly. From 65 out goes long towards Carr. He's got the sit over the back of Vetter. Should be able to take the mark in a 10 metre square and does so. And will shoot for goal. From 8 metres out. Kicked 10 last week. And Mark Vetter certainly made sure he uh, earned the... Uh, Mark, and he's also been given 50. About eight anyway. Well, eight, yeah. <laughs> eight out of 50. <laughs> so we'll uh, shoot from directly in front, Julian Carr. 
I don't uh, see uh, a problem with that. I mean, it wasn't vicious. I mean, what else could he do? I mean, he was late there. It was, it was a well way to kick from Peter McVillie, Absolutely. actually. Absolutely. And Julian Carr has kicked into Settlement Road. He's put it through for uh, his first of the afternoon and the second for the Belmont line. So they go to two straight goals, 12. They trail East Geelong 4-4, 28. That's on the Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard, 20 and a half minutes played. Not too sure whether it's a blood rule or... Uh... <laughs> Well, what the situation is, I don't know he's actually been sent from the ground. He's trying to hide in the pocket, I think. No, I think umpire Keating spoke to him. Ah, and, he's uh, going. Oh, yep. So obviously it's uh, a bit more than was uh, first thought. And uh, So uh, I'm not too sure what uh, umpire Keating is uh, speaking about here. But uh, Carr is certainly off the ground, I'd suggest, for uh, the blood rule. So... Uh, I'm not too sure what's happening here. Umpire Keating is still basically conversing with the bench, but uh, the change has been made. Yeah, uh, Harvey back into the ruck area and now into the forward zone. So uh, Harvey recovered from... Uh, I think that just asked the umpire early. what he was off for, that's all. Oh, okay. He said blood rule. So uh, the ball in the middle, it comes down. Tommy Hall can't control it. Duncan Miles doing well in the middle for East Geelong. Gets it forward. Nice pick up there by McLeod. Handball to Buckingham. He runs to 50. He's hooked it around the body. It's going, uh, well, a great physical contest there between Button and O'Leary. And uh, I guess that's what they've done, Laurie. Henry Button uh, is standing his ground. He's uh, as strong as Sean O'Leary. Yeah, well, that was a good example of uh, probably what uh, both uh, camps considered was going to happen, I think. Uh, use the body on body, and that was a good example of it. So the ball uh, now thrown in. It's come back to Collins from uh, 35 metres out. Has a pot shot. He's missed also. So another behind to East Geelong. 4-5-29. They lead Belmont Lions two goals straight. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard. 22 minutes gone. So Nelson from fullback for the Lions. Kicks to the outer side. Good kick two for distance. 65 metres. Steel goes up. Second attempt takes the mark. He's done that a couple of times to the Eagles. And we'll drive it back into attack. Goes long with a right foot kick towards the goal square. Dandy goes up oh, and takes the mark. Kane yes. Dandy for the Eagles. And we'll shoot for goal from 12 metres out, but a pretty acute angle. Well, he had to drop on them, Laurie, didn't he? And uh, he certainly used it. Oh, yeah, mate. I like to see those number 44s get up there. <laughs> That was a great, great grab. But he had a nice set, but he uh, controlled it beautifully and brought it to ground. Comes in, wheels it around and kicks the goal. So does well. Kane Dandy has put it through for his first. And another quick reply for the Eagles. They go to 5-4-34. So 5-5. 5-5-35 five, 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 the Eagles. And the Belmont Lions, two straight goals, 12 victory trophies. First quarter scoreboard, 23 minutes played. Well, it's been a very good, uh, productive 23 minutes for East Geelong, Laurie. Well, it certainly has. It uh, gives me the feeling that this could be a little bit of a shootout here today. Uh, and if that's the case, uh, we're going to be in for a great afternoon, uh, seeing a few goals, because uh, every time they go forward, they seem to be uh, getting inside the 50. There doesn't seem to be a lot of pressure on the East Geelong for, uh, on the forwards up there. Well, 31-19 to 19 here last week, perhaps it's the ground. Yeah. As the ball uh, comes down in the middle, hands, runs onto it, four lines, kicks it to uh, centre-half forward. Coming out strongly is Michael Allen, can't take the mark. Picking it up uh, at ground level was uh, kicked to forward anyway, Nathan Murray. He stops it an inch from the line, clears it for East Geelong, and looking for uh, Hill, can't take the mark. Comes to ground, outside 50, McVillie. Hooks it back on the left foot. All East Geelong back there. They make a bit of a meal of it, but finally comes into the arms of Jones. Has a couple of bounces. He's run to 50. In fact, he ran a fair way and uh, kicks it to the middle of the ground. Mark, free kick, whatever you like, to uh, Beck for the Belmont Lions there. So thrust forward, stop there by the uh, Lions. Beck kicks to half forward. Holy. Tommy Hall. And that's what he's uh, renowned for, Laurie, I think. Led to the footy. He was a couple of metres in front there of uh, Andy Hill and takes a strong mark. So first kick in uh, GDFL for Tommy Hall. Not a bad-looking kick either. It's going to land in the goal square. In front, Stevenson. The, the, the forwards have to defend it. Comes forward to McLean. McLean of East Geelong kicks it outside 50. Boltech leads in the race for the footy. Can't control it. And uh, off his hands, it's over the boundary line. So it's just outside the 50-metre arc. Ball will be thrown in half forward flank for the Belmont Lions on the western side. Up high there was uh, tapped down by Harvey. Harvey was it doing the ruck work. Comes back into the uh, 50 metre. Oh, gee, the, the bounce uh, perhaps favoured Lions, but there's a high tackle on Murray. 
And uh, going, now the advantage paid to uh, East Geelong and picked up by Michael O'Leary, but the kick is to uh, really to nobody in the middle and Holtz has taken the mark. Handball to uh, Button and uh, O'Leary well up the ground, but Button it is for Belmont Lions, kicks it half forward. Mark not taken through the hands there of Tommy Hall, comes back on the footy, good shepherding. He uh, hooks it round towards the full forward position and right in the goal square, a metre from the goal, Murray has taken the mark. Kicks it across goal to Stevenson and Stevenson for East Geelong. Called to play on now by the umpire. Goes by hand to Michael O'Leary. He's outside 50 and kicks long. That's what they should be doing with the breeze, but oh, Mark dropped there by Mills. Well tackled by uh, McLeod. Button out there to support. So, uh, well, Luke McLean read it very well. In fact, he's beaten three out there. Gets a handball across to Collins. Over to Sean O'Leary. He gets the ball to foot very, very quickly. Over Harvey's head. He comes back onto the footy. It's in the middle. Good contest, but again, Harvey does well. Oh, threw it to McBill. Yeah, and he's been too. And uh, <laughs> that was the, the classic basketball uh, pass, Laurie, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> it so, was uh, pushed it off. So, unfortunately, the free kick has gone uh, against the uh, Lions. I thought for a minute he was going to get away with that. So, it is Steele now. Steele for uh, East Geelong. And there's a situation where... Uh, Sean O'Leary has taken the mark with uh, Henry Button's 55 metres from the goal. So uh, Sean O'Leary for East Geelong, about to uh, take the shot on goal. It's a magnificent goal. Uh, not uh, real good. Offline, uh, behind to Sean O'Leary, uh, behind to East Geelong. Five goals, six, 36. So lead Belmont Lions, two goals straight. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard, 27 minutes gone. So the ball comes back to Scotty Mills at fullback for the Belmont Lions to do the kick in. 5 6 36 East Geelong. Belmont two straight goals, 12. Late stages of the first term. Mills a little bit indecisive at the moment. Lex to go towards the 50 metre line and a good kick. Finds Daniel Beck. Just inside defensive 50. Goes to the left foot towards the centre wing. Off the side of the boot. Might be OK though. Hands goes up. Takes a great mark overhead for a small man. Plays on quickly. Goes towards centre half forward. Harvey by himself. Goes up. Takes the mark. Oh, umpire just yeah, paid it as yeah. Morris Stevenson was running away. So it'll be Harvey at centre half forward. 60 metres out. Hand balls it off to Peter McVilly from the point of the centre square. Goes long and has just missed through 4-1 behind. To the coach, so they get a 2 1 13 Belmont, East Geelong 5 6 36. Victor Trophy's first quarter scoreboard, 28 minutes played. Pretty long kick from outside 50 lower into the Bruce. Yeah, it was a good kick, uh, Eric. Uh, it was just a little bit inaccurate. So Jones for East Geelong kicks to himself, now uh, kicks the ball back in, racing at the footy as Boltech can't control it, comes back, handball out to uh, a teammate Pickett. there in Pickett. He, uh, well, picked up by Boltesh eventually over the hands. Nice looking left foot kick. Oh, gee, it's just uh, left of the <coughs> tall timber. So it is a behind to uh, Paul Hand. So Belmont Lions late in the first quarter doing a bit of attacking. 2 2 14. But they trail East Geelong 5 6 36. Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard. 28 and a half minutes gone. So Jones from fullback again for the Eagles. Goes long towards half back. Stevenson behind. Allen at front, McVilly tries to break free, Michael O'Leary pushes him over and grabs him in the tackle, will be a ball up just at half forward, point of the centre square, Belmont into attack. Robert Harvey's in a bit of trouble again, he's <laughs> had, had, a bad, bad had a bad first quarter off the bench again. Got a headache this time I think. So a ball up, Allen up against Lovell, Lovell gets it down, through the middle Dunlop, now McLean also leaves it behind. Now Holtz gets it away, Beck off hands to Boltish, handballs to Pickett, left footer, so goes long towards Carr, back on the ground, Hall from behind, off the back of the pack, two on one, should be Spence to run into the goal and kick it, and does. And Christian Spence has put his first on the board, and the third for the Belmont Lions, they go to 3 2 20, close the gap on East Geelong, who are 5 6 36, Victory Trophy's first quarter scoreboard, 29 and a half minutes played. Well, certainly uh, all credit to Belmont Lions, probably the last seven or eight minutes of the quarter, Laurie, that uh, they've had the ball in their attacking half and uh, you know, got a little bit of score on the board. Yeah, and, and they've had the, the guys at the drop of the footy every time hit the ground, the three or four uh, Belmont Lions, and the same ha thing happened when they went into there. But either of those players could have kicked that goal, and it was just, uh, that's good play to have the guys scouting the ground. But they've just lifted up a little bit, I think, the Belmont Lions. So in the middle, Michael O'Leary now in the uh, the centre square for this uh, ball up. So there's quite a bit of uh, personnel change in the middle, but it is Lovell and Michael Allen 
Allen gets a tap down. It only goes as far as uh, Michael O'Leary becoming through strong, strongly with Newell. Kicked the ball along the ground. Hands uh, kicks it further forward for uh, Belmont Lions. But they've gone a little bit wide and it's gone over the boundary line between centre wing and half forward flank on the eastern side here at Winter Reserve. We've been playing 30 and a half minutes in the first quarter as the ball comes back in. Good work there by Lovell. Whistle on play once again. It is a, a ruck infringement. Seems to have been a few of those today. The free kick has gone to Lovell. He's uh, now called to play on. He attempted the handball, but finally kicks the ball long to half forward. Big pack down there. Host can't take the mark. It's come out wide for uh, the Lions. Nice kick towards half forward, but in good position there. Is that uh, Jones? Yep. On half back flank. Looks towards the uh, attacking side of the ground. It's all east out there. Stevenson has the footy. Handball out to Hill, who's running for him. Hill now, long kick to uh, the forward area. It's uh, deep in the attacking area. Mark unable to be taken by any of the players up there. The big punch came from Holtz to the boundary line. So Belmont Lions have defended once again about 15 metres from the behind post. So it's 31 minutes gone in this uh, first quarter. The uh, ball comes in once again as the siren sounds. It is quarter time at uh, Winter Reserve. And at quarter time, the Belmont Lions, 3-2-20. They trail East Geelong 5 6 36. The goal kickers for East Geelong singles to David Peters, Scott McLeod, Luke McLean, Kane Dandy, and Shane Lovell, while for the Belmont Lions singles to Julian Carr, Michael Allen, and to Christian Spence at 16 points of difference at quarter time. East Geelong 5 6 36. They lead the Belmont Lions 3 2 20. Take a break back with the second quarter action of our match day live coverage. You're listening to 94.7, the Pulse, your home of local football.